Two of those guys who are going to be back with the Bills in 2023, Tyrell Dodson and Tyler Medikevich as well. We are so happy that they're going to be a part of this team. Big special teamers and and there's room now at that linebacker position for both of these guys to step up and make a name for themselves. And, and they both join us on the desk right now. Oh Welcome, my, guys. Nice oh, picture of you two guys. How's yeah. It going? yeah Congratulations. Welcome <laughs> to Stadium Congrats. Buffalo. Congrats. That's, that's, that's kind of awesome, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nowhere else we've had what's the what's the vibe you know around what do you, you know I know you guys are keeping in touch with your teammates and stuff and you saw Tremaine sign the home run deal got a happy for him right I'm mean, happy yeah. yeah I'm very happy for Tremaine you know everything that he's done the last five years I mean second to bar none so right. um, we got some big big shoes to fill when you know Maine's gone yeah plus he's younger than all of us you know I mean <laughs> he's still a kid yeah, right he's uh, a five he year a veteran and he's yeah. 24 yeah yeah it's amazing to there's think about players too. in the draft who are older than Tremaine Edmonds that are gonna come out of college football this year and go into the NFL absolutely wild Tyrell we'll start with you what does it mean to be back in Buffalo this next season what does this team mean to you and and just the opportunity that's in front of you right now yeah just coming in as an undrafted uh free agent you know the the vision wasn't as clear as as it is now and just coming back from my year year five I've been backing up Jermaine and Matt for you know four years it feels like the longest but now I get an opportunity to show the world what I'm capable of mm -hmm. you know and uh I know Bobby Babbage believes believes the world of me and um I'm ready to show the world what I can do. I love that. And, and Tyler, for you, what does it mean to be back in this place that you've called home for the last couple of seasons? Uh, you came from the Steelers, uh, one of the best players on special teams uh, at the time when you signed with the Bills, and you've done a lot for this team on special teams. But you're also listed as a linebacker as well, and I know you both want to be a part of the defense um, as well, and possibly the opportunity could be there for you this year. So what does it mean to, to be a part of this group for another season? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I'm definitely ex so excited to be back. Uh, I mean, we, we love this place. There's literally no no other place we'd rather be. But, um, no, I mean, just having the opportunity, you always just got to be ready to, to go in there, whether on offense or defense. Mm -hmm. You know, you just got to be ready, prepare like you're a starter and stuff like that. Um, and as long as you do that, you'll always be ready for whatever moment you have, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but our job, too, is, like, if we're not out there on the field, we got to be ready to attack special teams. Right. Um, and that's something that we do, we love, we enjoy. Um, I mean, I, I enjoy coming to work every day, working with TDOT, working with Baylin, working with TB, just trying to make these younger guys, like, better better players, mm -hmm. like not only linebackers, but special teamers too. Yeah, I remember, I, I mean, I covered kicks. Speaking and, of special teams. Right, I mean, I covered kicks for a long time. Pretty, pretty good in the NFL. Right, and so I was, <laughs> and I, I'm like you guys, I loved it. I, 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 you want to be able to contribute somehow, mm -hmm. right? But I know this too, both of you have been on the field as linebackers as well, and I, and once in a while I got on as a receiver to catch passes, and and people ask me, did you rather do that? And really, what you really want is a chance to contribute, right? You just want to get on the field somehow. If I'm a line, if I'm a linebacker or wide receiver, I just get, I'm I like it because I'm on the field. And same thing with special teams; it gives you a chance to get on the field somehow, some way. And this this group of special teamers, you guys with Taiwan and the and the, the rest of these guys, you know, Isaiah returning guys, and now Naheem Hines, who is yeah. really you know kind of added a little bit of juice back there. It's kind of got to feel like you got a core group of guys you can really go and win games with. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I feel like we have such a, a good core group of special teamers here. And then especially on the outside, you know, you're saying Taiwan, Saran. Um, I mean, those two guys right there, we think yeah, the world. They're elite like, guys. Yeah. Elite gunners. <laughs> elite gunners. So, I mean, you know, that's yeah. not an easy thing to do. <laughs> um, but shoot, yeah. So I think we got such a good core group of special teamers here. Um, I mean, it's, it's fun to, it's enjoy, you enjoy coming to work every day and working with these guys and just getting better. You went through um, the thing, the changeover to Matt Smiley as well. And, it, and tell me about the, the crew that you guys are working with now, the coaches. Yeah, Coach Smiley is awesome. And then Big Hark coming right. along last mm -hmm. year. I mean, um, I, I think Big Hark is only scratching the surface. You know, his right. first year coaching and stuff like that, he, he showed me things, you know, as being a former player that I never even thought of. So, um, um, the sky's the limit for the special teams group. And um, like Tyler said, like we just got to, if you have an opportunity, you got to maximize your opportunity. If it's defense, special teams, you just got to go out there and just maximize. And at the end of the day, you know, may the best team win, you know. You filled in for Tremaine Edmonds when he wasn't on the field this past year, and in the linebacker position has has faced some injuries. Matt Milano and Tremaine Edmonds have, have both missed games at times, and you, you've you been somebody who's been able to, to fill that void. So without Tremaine Edmonds being a part of this roster this upcoming season, 
where does your mindset, where, how does it change here in 2023 with, with an opportunity that you have? Yeah, my mindset is honestly just being the best player I can be. You know, if it's if it's special teams and if it's the Mike linebacker on this team, mm-hmm. you know, coming in, knowing the scheme, um, getting to know all my guys on defense, um, and just you know being the best person I can be on and off the field. Because um, the Mike the Mike position, I mean, Tremaine made it look easy, but the Mike position is is the is the quarterback of the defense. Yeah. It's the Josh Allen of the defense, and you know, you can't slip up. So that's my mindset coming into this um, off season. Um, just, just being the leader and the captain of the defense. Already getting to work then, right? Yeah, already. I just got done, <laughs> just got done yeah, working what's out. The, uh, what's the schedule in the near future for you guys? I know the draft's coming up, and there's, you know, it's really, unless you come in to work out, Billy, it's kind of dead. Yeah. What are you guys, what's on the schedule? Are you guys going to take a little time Were you off? Guys you both going in to, Buffalo? Now you sign Did a you new have contract, to come to town? You're on a little vacation or yeah, something? Yeah, I don't or? know. I, it's on Tyler this time. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Tyler, first, were you in Buffalo or did you have to come back to sign? What no, I've, to? I've been here. Oh, I've been here, yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah, no, you know, I don't love Don't you Buffalo. love the snow yeah, in March? Yeah. Isn't you know, that awesome? People, some people get out of here quick. You know, I don't mind the snow. I like the snow. <laughs> You're from Connecticut. <laughs> from Connecticut. Northeast, northeast. That's the thing. People that live here. The winter isn't what get you. It's this time of year. We're in second yeah. winter. Yeah, like yeah. from from like from you know March first through April fifteenth. It's it's kind of like get out of town time, right? I mean, because no, absolutely. The winter's fun. I mean, we all like snow. We all go out and do it in the uh-huh. winter. But, but man, when it when it does, I don't like away. snow anymore, Tess. Yeah, right. I'm it's that time of year. You're not ready? supposed to. Right? You're over. We're, we're, we're done. Done. Not we're snow, done. Right? I was getting on my flight. You know, I came in from Cali and. I looked at the uh, weather. I was like, "Oh, it's snowing." <laughs> yeah. And Cali is beautiful. Well, not beautiful right now, but it, it's it's pretty, raining in Cali. It's too, raining right? in Cali. It's it's ugly everywhere. I guess if it's so raining in Cali. So, are you spending the off season in Cali? What are you doing in in California? What part of uh, the I'm state in, are you in? I'm in Hollywood right now. Okay. Um, no big deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. Okay, <laughs> next. Uh, let's go to the next question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't want to talk about it, right? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. Yeah. It's cool. I love it. I love that you guys can decide where you want to be for the off season yeah. and train there. So you're training Tyler's, in California. Yeah, Tyler's paying for all of it. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, right, new deals. <laughs> yeah. Train the linebackers what, uh, well. What do you hear from the rest of? The, I know you guys touch base with the rest of the rock. What are the guys on your team? What What's been the story that you guys been talking about? Free agents and mm-hmm. guys that might come to Buffalo or guys that are leaving Buffalo. You know, like you've been talking about. What's the Topic of conversation on the text loop with your play, with your teammates. I, I think what surprised them. Um, I, I mean, shoot, I don't think any. I mean, you know this. I don't think anything should surprise right. you right, right now. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like uh, crazy stuff's gonna happen. But uh, no, everyone's excited. Uh, everyone I've talked to, you know, I've been really talking with a lot of the linebackers like Milano and stuff. Right. Balin's around. Right. TB and. And now, like, T-Dot's back. But I think everyone's got the, the same mentality. Everyone's eager to get back out there. You know, we had a, sort of uh, not how we wanted to end the season and right. stuff, you know. So everyone's yeah. sort of anxious to get back to work uh, with that little, like, chip on your shoulder sort of mentality. For a brief minute, I don't think it's going to happen to me, but, you know, it was like uh, Tom Brady was going to be in Miami for a minute, right? Now, Rodgers may still end second. up with the Jets. Mm-hmm. And you got Joshy. You know, that all of a sudden it was going to be like – are you kidding me with this division, right? I'm, yeah. uh, now it's still, it looks like Aaron probably will end up a Jet, and we don't know yet. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know whether he's come out of the dark yet. and But, <laughs> you know, but it is going to be different. The Jets are going to mm-hmm. be a different team if he indeed does go there, and they're, and they're trying to work that out. Um, that that makes you look twice at the Jets. Jets were a good team anyway. Yeah, they were. They, yeah. they, have, a, they have a top-notch defense, and I, and I yeah. think their offense can get, can get better, you know, adding A-Rod. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, I feel like the Bills are the top dogs in the AFC East. And yeah. I think, think it's going it's to stay that way for a long time. And that's what I like to hear. And I want each of you, since we are in the negotiating window and a lot of this news is going to become official here on Wednesday afternoon when, when the new league year begins, make your case for why some free agents who are still available on the market, why, why they would want to come to Buffalo and play with this team. I mean, you got the best food. You, I mean, you got the best people. Uh, you got the best organization ever. I mean, I mean, guys treat you like family here. I mean, I, as an undrafted free agent, these guys, Brandon Bean told me what I had to get done, mm-hmm. and I'm on year five now, s- signing my second contract. So I think that speaks for itself. That's awesome. And, and Tyler, for you, what what do you have uh, to say for guys out there who are looking for a new home and, and Buffalo might be might be a good fit, huh? Uh, don't let the weather scare you. You know, that would be my first thing. The weather is not that bad, but I mean. Going along with like everything he just said, but I mean, as long as you got uh, one seven back there, uh, it's, 
You, you always got a chance. Yeah. You know, so chance. having one seven back there, he makes everybody's <laughs> life a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, awesome. Congratulations. Glad to have you back on Thank the team. You, it's it's, yeah, no, it's really it. awesome. Yeah. And, and believe me, I'm, I, I watch you guys. I'm From maybe a former one of a few special teamer, he's, who may have he's feeling some extra good sort, about this yeah, right Some now. sort of idea of what I'm looking at. I'm mm-hmm. so glad you guys are back because yeah, you, you're sir. really good, and I'm, I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. No, Thank you. Tyler, you. Tyrell, happy to see you guys back here. Happy to see you back in Buffalo. You've been around. I know you're probably going to go back to Cali to continue to train, but we're excited to see you all back here in April. I can't believe we're we're almost a month away from you from when you guys come you back it. for workouts. Let's go, wild. We're back. Wild. We're back. I love it. We're back, baby.